Welcome to Interview Hub. Here in this video we cover ASP.NET Core interview question and answer. Q1. What is .NET Core? The .NET Core platform is a new .NET stack that is optimized for open source development and agile delivery on Nougat. .NET Core has two major components. It includes a small runtime that is built from the same code base as the .NET Framework CLR. The .NET Core runtime includes the same GC and JIT, but doesn't include features like application domains or code access security. The runtime is delivered via Nougat, as part of the ASP.NET Core package. .NET Core also includes the base class libraries. These libraries are largely the same code as the .NET Framework class libraries, but have been factored, removal of dependencies, to enable to ship a smaller set of libraries. These libraries are shipped as system.something NuGet packages. Q2. What is .NET standard? The .NET standard is a formal specification of .NET APIs that are intended to be available on all .NET implementations. Q3. What are some advantages of .NET Core? Below are some advantages of using .NET Core. First, flexible deployment can be included in your app or install side-by-side -side user or machine-wide. Second, cross-platform, runs on Windows, macOS, and Linux, can be ported to other OSs. The supported operating systems, OS, CPUs and application scenarios will grow over time, provided by Microsoft, other companies, and individuals. Third, command line tools, all product scenarios can be exercised at the command line. Fourth, compatible, .NET Core is compatible with .NET Framework, Xamarin, and Mono. And last but not the least, it's open source, the .NET Core platform is open source, using MIT and Apache 2 licenses. .NET Core is a .NET Foundation project which is supported by Microsoft. Q4. What is middleware in ASP.NET Core? Middleware is a component, logic code, which gets executed on each HTTP request in the ASP.NET Core application. Middleware is injected into the application pipeline to handle requests and responses. Each middleware adds or modifies the HTTP request and optionally passes control to the next middleware component. Middlewares are registered under the configure method in the startup.cas file. ASP.NET Core has many built-in middlewares, which can be added via NuGet or we can also create custom middleware. We can register as much middleware as we want, but the ordering is important. Q5. What is dependency injection in ASP.NET Core? Dependency injection is one of the most known strategies that help us to create more maintainable code, and .NET Core has inbuilt supports for dependency injection. Dependency injection, also known as DI, is a technique that helps to inject a dependent object of a class, or we can say it helps us to create loosely coupled applications. In startup.ca's file under the configure services method we register the services, and to register the services we have three options, i.e. add singleton, add scoped, add transient. Once the service is registered, it is available in DI container, and we can access it through constructor injection. Q6. What is the difference between app.use and app.run? First of all, both methods are used to register middleware to the application request pipeline. The only difference is middleware defined using app.use may call next middleware component in the pipeline. On the other hand, middleware defined using app.run will never call subsequent middleware. It means app.run acts as a terminal middleware, and so no other middleware method will run after this. Sample code for your reference. Q7. What is the difference between .NET Core and Mono? Mono is third-party implementation of .NET Framework for Linux Android iOS. Whereas .NET Core is Microsoft's own implementation for same. Q8. What's the difference between SDK and Runtime in .NET Core? The SDK is all of the stuff that is needed makes developing a .NET Core application easier, such as the CLI and a compiler. The runtime is the virtual machine that hosts, runs the application and abstracts all the interaction with the base operating system. Q9. What is routing in ASP.NET Core? Routing is a pattern matching system that monitors the incoming request and figures out what to do with that request. It is the process through which the application matches an incoming URL, and executes the corresponding controller action methods. ASP.NET Core supports two types of routing i.e. conventional routing and attribute routing. Here's the routing flow diagram. Q10. How to enable session in ASP.NET Core? 
the session is used to store or save user data. To enable sessions in ASP.NET Core, we need to add add session method in the configure services of our startup.cs file. Next, we need to add app.use session middleware in the configure method. To set session, we use HTTP context.session.setString or HTTP context.session.setInt32. To get session value, we use HTTP context.session.getString or HTTP context.session.getInt32. Here the sample code for your reference. Q11. What is the use of the startup class in ASP.NET Core? Startup class is an entry point of the ASP. Net Core application. Every .NET Core application prior to .NET 6 version must have this class. This class contains the application configuration related items. It is not necessary that the class name must be startup, it can be anything. We can configure the startup class in the program class. But now in .NET 6 version there is no such startup.cs file as we directly use program.cs file. Q12, what is the use of configure services method of startup class? Configure services is an optional method of startup class. It can be used to configure the services that are used by the application. This method calls first when the application is requested for the first time. Using this method, we can add the services to the DI container, so services are available as a dependency in the controller constructor. Q13. What is the use of the configure method of startup class? It defines how the application will respond to each HTTP request. We can configure the request pipeline by configuring the middleware. It accepts I application builder as a parameter and also it has two optional parameters, eHost engine environment and a logger factory. Using this method, we can configure built-in middleware such as routing, authentication, session, etc. As well as third-party middleware. Thank you for watching.